Hi everyone, this is Leticia, your witchy dancer from Dancing Crowns, and I am here at Dancing Crowns Studio bringing you the weekly Taro and Cafe. Salud! Let's drink coffee together today. Amazing! So, as always, we're going to have the card of the week for the family, the love and relationships, and the career or business. We are also going to have the crystal of the week, which I will be explaining in a little bit, and the magical word in Spanish. Remember that if you missed the Tarot and Cafe in Facebook, you can always go to YouTube and find it again over there. And the Tarot y Cafe in Espanol this week is in my Instagram account, La Brujita Que Baila. So if you speak Spanish, you can go to my Instagram account, La Brujita Que Baila, and find Tarot y Café over there in Espanol, your language. Okay, so we are going to start now by making an announcement first. Um, well, I want to first thank uh, Raymond Arrieta and Dagmar for having me on their TV show Dia a Dia in Puerto Rico, Telemundo Puerto Rico, last week. It was a wonderful experience, and I wish Raymond Arrieta uh, the best in his uh, walk for the cancer this weekend. I know he's either about to hit that or in the walk right now, so I know he's going through um, a lot of transformation this and this walk as the tarot cards said for him when I read for him in the TV show the Adia the other day, and he's going to also transform the life of a lot of people by doing this beautiful gesture of walking for the cancer against the cancer, right, that horrible, um, illness that we hate so much and that we want everyone to be healthy and happy and to live many many years and you know uh, be be able to share time with family and loved ones for a very long time without uh, having that horrible il illness on the way so Raymond we wish you the best here at Taroa Cafe and it, let's continue with um, other news on Monday at 6 p.m. in Instagram live you can go to Soy Diana Otero account. This is in Espanol. Um, she is one of the uh, biggest influencers of the Hispanic community, and I will be doing a live tarot reading for her. Soy Diana Otero account in Instagram, so don't miss it if you speak Spanish or even if you don't speak Spanish and you want to watch a little bit of her face reactions and the cards that are coming from Secrets of Paradise Tarot to the table for her reading. Um, you are more than welcome to join us Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time um, at the Instagram influencer account Soy Diana Otero. I have the poster on my uh, Facebook profile and my story, so you can find it very easy. The information is there, and I will see you Monday at 6 during that title reading on her account. All right, so in Instagram. Um, also, I want to remind you that Secrets of Paradise Tarot is already available for pre-order and as soon as you buy it, um, you can go back to my page, dancingcrownstudio.com slash Secrets of Paradise Tarot, put the receipt number and your information there and you are going to get in return three amazing gifts. So put your information in my page after purchasing and then you're going to get in your email automatically three amazing gifts. You're going to get a free tarot spread, it's printable, it's going to be the same tarot spread that you're going to find in the little guidebook when you buy the tarot and you receive it, but instead of, you know, this size, the very little in the guidebook that comes with the deck, you're going to have it bigger, you're going to have a printable, um, a printable version of it in colors, and you can even put it on the top of your table and read the tarot, the tarot cards in the salsa rhythm. It's beautiful, it's amazing, unique, fresh. It gives you something to work with while waiting for the deck to arrive um, in the next few months. So, also you are going to receive an invitation later on to my exclusive Zoom uh, virtual launching party. And if you are near me in Rochester or Puerto Rico, depending on where I am at the moment, you might get another invitation for joining me in person um, in one of my launching parties that I am going to, that I'm hoping that we can make happen. Um, so we are going to um, invite you to visit dancingcrownstudio.com 
for Secrets of Paradise Tarot, you know, for ordering that, for also ordering um, this beautiful jewelry that I make or buying any of the crystals that you see on my table. So they are all available at DancingCrowStudio.com. Let me drink more coffee with you today. Amazing. So we are going to continue now with the Tarot Card of the Week for the Family Energy. So we are going to start with the Goddess card, which is similar to the Empress card. Usually, if you read Tarot, you know what I'm talking about. In this case, the feminine energy within the family this week is very strong. So if mom or grandma give you an advice, listen to her because mom and grandma are there for you. And they are going to probably be giving you some guidance this week. Also, it is very empowering, the feminine energy in the family, and to the point that you are going to probably have tears of joy. Abundance is on the corner for the family energy as well. So feminine energy, empowering, tears of joy, abundance. This week for the family energy, we're going to proceed with the card of the week for romantic relationships, that love side of our life that we all like, right? And the full is the card of the week. In there, remember, this is one of the cards that change in the deck that you are going to be receiving. And that surprise is coming soon. I'm going to be showing you all of the cards um, that has changed in the deck soon. So the full is for romantic relationships this week, meaning that one of the two is distracted. And you need to pay attention to your partner more because sometimes... You let things get on your way and you're not paying that much attention to your partner. You can ignore your partner for a little bit now, for some days, and that person is trying to navigate on the right path. You need to join your partner on the right path and do not let so much external things to get on the way of your love and relationship that you might regret at a later time because you can fall uh, down the bridge or you can go into the wrong path with your love life. So take over, pay attention to your partner, don't let it slide, don't let external things affect your relationship and go back into the same path as your partner is, okay? Career or business, this week we have the Eight of Cups with Pirata Cofresi, the pirate Cofresi. He was the last pirate of the Caribbean and he is looking um, if you if you look at this card, he has a partner, a partner in business that is a mermaid. So feminine energy again, a lot of feminine energy this week in Taroan Cafe, in both in the family area and business or career. I do see a lot of people that they need some, um, they need to get in touch with their feminine side. It doesn't matter if you're a man or woman. We all have feminine and male energy within us. So pay attention to your feminine side. If you have co-workers or a boss that has a big uh, feminine energy, it doesn't matter what gender they are, um, pay attention to what they are saying because again, you need some guidance in your career on the feminine energy side. So look for your intuition in your career to see what it takes you. That's one of the ways that you can find um, your feminine side, you know, and, and, and raise that vibration there for listen to your intuition, right? Uh, work with that. And also to a coworker that is wise, that you trust and that you know it's going to give you great advice this week for career or business. Um, it's going to be a great week for working with the Archangel Gabriel to give you good news and abundance. And also with the loa from the Haitian guru, Agüe, because it's going to bring you to a safe port, a uh, safe shore. It's not going to let the storm to get you, okay? So that is the energy for career or business in Taroan Cafe this week. Let, let pass now to the crystal of the week. And we have blue calcite. And uh, blue calcite is it's very similar to celestite. They're almost the same energy. Uh, celestite and blue calcite are, I would say, hand to hand. And the energy on this crystal ball here that is on sale on uh, dancingcrownstudio.com 
um, in my crystal shop there, it is full of peaceful energy. It is very tranquil. It is great for working with archangels and the angelic realms. Uh, this is the type of energy that is going to maintain an area very peaceful and soft. It is going to keep the stagnant and bad energy away, but it's going to enter with a soft energy and it's going to make its way in in a softly way at the same time that it keeps pushing strongly that bad energy away all the time. It's not like a carnelian or a citrine where you have this spongy strong energy and comes like boom and slap. No, this is a different form of energy and also blue calcite is a great crystal for beginners, for people who have never worked with crystals before or you're just starting to discover crystals, blue calcite is a great uh, crystal to start with uh, working with that area and it's very healing. I even have a plate where I put my um, other crystals on it to maintain it clean and soft. Um, it is also a crystal of communication, not only with the throat chakra, but it works with the third eye and it can transport you at a higher level of communication with your spirit and with the angelic realms, like I said. So great uh, crystal for meditation. If you have an area that is designed for meditation, either at work or at your house, um, this is a great crystal to work in that area. So just put it on a beautiful table, and uh, depending if you have a palm stone in blue calcite or a crystal ball like this one, depending on what type of carving you have or raw, um, or even a celestite, you know, they are very similar in energy, and they are both uh, great to work for meditation and to communicate at a higher level, okay? Working with these upper chakras right here. Um, so the magical word of the week that we always have um, is uh, in this case, and it's always in Spanish, this, this week is cielo, sky in Spanish, cielo. So in the Hispanic community, we say cielo, come here, like dear. So we call somebody that we like cielo, like sky. Um, I know it sounds weird in English, but in Spanish, it's, you know, it sounds perfectly fine. It's like saying, hey love, how you doing? Hey cielo, ven acá, come here, you know. Um, so use the word cielo to be incorporated in your magical rituals. You can use it in a paragraph um, for trying to work with the angelic realm. You can work with the blue calcite and the word cielo at the same time in a magical ritual in your, on your altar. You can use the word cielo on your daily life. When you feel kind of like um, in a toxic environment or some, something is bothering you, you can look at the sky, go outside in your lunch time or break and look at the sky and it's going to make you feel better so connect with the cielo that you have above you all right you can also create your own cielo on top of you and work with uh, energy and magic that way all right so that is it for taro and cafe this week this is leticia your witch and answer financing crowns i'm gonna keep drinking my cafe here while you can go and browse in dancingcrownstudio.com slash secrets of paradise tarot and get my deck or go shopping for crystals or come visit me at dancing crown studio here in east rochester new york salute and see you next week